Hello everyone. After studying calculus and vector, we have built our foundation. Now let's embark on studying physics. We'll start with a topic called relative velocity and uh, we'll gradually build on this. Let's talk about something which we all must have experienced. When we are sitting on a train and we are moving and uh, we're gauging outside, then it appears that all the stationary objects outside are moving in opposite direction. That's how we feel about them. We feel that we are stationary and the objects outside, they are moving. And uh, suppose uh, you have went to see off one of your friend and uh, you have to get down once the train gets started and the train do get started and you start to get down and suddenly you realize that it's not actually your train, it's actually the train on the adjacent track which has started. So, because your mind knows that when two trains are adjacent and one of them gets started, there will be some relative displacement of one with respect to another. Irrespective whether you move or the other train moves, there would be some displacement. And when we see some displacement displacement to be happening, we sometimes get confused whether it's our train or it's the other one. So we're going to talk more about it later, but uh, for now let's have one more situation when we are sitting on a train and there is another train coming in the same direction on the adjacent track and the both are moving in the same direction and the speed of the other train is slightly higher than your train then what would happen is that train is going to be with you for a very long time because the displacement would be very slow because the differential speed is very less so it is going to make a lot of noise and you're just going to wonder when this train is going to pass by. On the other hand, if the two trains are moving in opposite direction, then the train is going to pass off in little time. But it's going to make a lot, make lot more noise, but it's going to pass on in little time. And that's going to happen rapidly. Right? And... Uh, when we are sitting on a train and the people sitting around us, they seem to be stationary. They don't seem to be moving, although they are moving with respect to ground, but the thing is, we are also moving with the same speed with respect to ground. So the other objects on the train and other people on the train, they seem to be stationary with respect to us. Now, <clears throat> considering all these situations, very intuitively, we can come to a formula which would be like this. The relative velocity of, an, of a body with respect to an observer would be velocity of that body minus velocity of observer. Now, we are going to see a proper mathematical proof of this, but as, as I have told you before and I am telling you again, physics is all about intuition. If intuitively you can feel something, things are going to be much more simpler and faster for you uh, to solve and to analyze. So always think from intuition uh, if you can, rather than going for a detailed mathematical proof of something. Now this very intuitively we can derive based upon these situations that we have discussed. Now let's uh, see one by one if this formula, let's cross check uh, uh, with each of the situation if this formula works. Now, this is a relative velocity of B with respect to O. Relative velocity of the body with respect to an observer. I'm saying that the formula should come out like this. Velocity of uh, the body minus velocity of the observer. Let's check. If we are standing on a platform, that means uh, we are stationary and we are considering throughout the discussion that the Earth is stationary. So, if you are standing on a platform, the Earth is, Earth is stationary, platform is stationary, we are stationary. And if the train is moving, then whatever the speed of the train is, it will appear to be moving with the same speed because our velocity, the observer velocity would be zero in that case. So for a stationary observer, the speed of the body is the same of, as the speed of the body with respect to the observer because the observer, observer doesn't have any velocity. Now suppose the observer is moving. Let's consider this situation. when two people are sitting in the same train then with respect to one person the other person is stationary let's call them a and b now let's calculate relative velocity 
of B with respect to A. We'll write it like this. BA means velocity of B with respect to A. That would be velocity of B minus velocity of A. This is what the formula is. Now it will work. See, velocity of B is same as velocity of A because they are moving on the same train. So this will be cancelled out. This is actually zero. That's why the relative velocity of B with respect to A would come out to be zero. Okay. Now in other situations, suppose this is a situation when the two trains are moving parallel to each other with some differential velocity, then the velocity of suppose this is train A and this is train B velocity of train B with respect to A will be velocity of B minus velocity of A. Now suppose the velocity of B is little higher than the velocity of A, then this differential is going to be a small amount. Suppose this is a uh, 20 km per hour and this is uh, 18 km per hour. So the difference is just 2 km per hour. So actually B will be moving with respect to A with a small velocity of 2 km per hour. And suppose they are moving in opposite direction. If they are moving in opposite direction, in that case, velocity of B with respect to A would be velocity of B minus velocity of A. Now, these are velocity of vector quantities. If they are moving in opposite direction, we have to take the sign also into account. Now, if we are considering this to be positive direction, then by default, this would be a negative direction. Now, suppose this is A and this is B, or let's consider this to be positive direction, then velocity of B is 20 minus velocity of A. Velocity of A is in opposite direction. So we have to take the sign also into account. So if we have taken B as positive, then A would be negative. Velocity of A would be minus 18. That would be 38 km per hour. So the train moving in opposite direction will pass by very rapidly compared to the train moving in the same direction. So this formula works. This formula works uh, tentatively, depending upon uh, considering the situation that we have considered. Now let's see a formal mathematical proof of the same but you have to remember this this thing should come down into your heart right now velocity of a body b with respect to velocity of a body a is velocity of b minus velocity of a because depending on these situations it works